Hey everybody, welcome back to another Random Sam Epic Mom, and it is day 51. I cannot believe we've got half of it done. Oh my god, that is so relieving. We even got our 50th subscriber with our day 50, so yay us. This is awesome. Um, today's been kind of crazy for me because it was my twin son's birthday. They turned seven today, so yay, yeah. <sighs> Lord help me, I have 16 to 7 year olds and they're all driving me nuts. So needless to say, today's been running around, decorating cakes, doing all that, crazy as can be. Uh, we cheated, we didn't even wrap gifts, we just kind of covered them up and let them pick which area they were going to get first. So then it was running around with <laughs> gifts. So pretty much today I am just worn out and I've been doing my stretches today but let's do some more because you know. I finally got them down for bed. I can finally record. And it is, wow guys, it is a long, long day. But I'm in my comfy chair, my little moon chair here. And even in those types of chairs, it's really easy to do stretching exercises. So uh, legs are braced apart. Let me turn this down a little bit so you guys can see. Legs brace apart, touch the floor. Hold it, that up, and then touch. And we can do this a couple times, and it kind of helps stretch the back and all that. Um, this is what I like to do when I'm laying back. Just hold your leg up. I can be reading a book and just slowly doing this stuff. And believe it or not, in this uh, little moon chair type one, the way I'm laying is not the best for my back. But when I lift my legs up, it does uh, tighten up the core muscles like when you're doing sit-ups. Except without as much strain. So, again, these are just basic ones. Imagining rowing. A lot of basic, just simple stuff, guys. And I mean, if you're sitting down, you don't need to do a whole heck of a lot. Um, mostly it's all about, you know, staying hydrated, staying active, doing, you know, what you can. Um, this next 50 days, my husband's trying to encourage me to make more, you know, three day a week set up, uh, written down workout plans and the rest of the week, you know, just having fun, which is a good idea. But I gotta say this, uh, I was gonna take my sons to the park today, but the park that I showed in our video yesterday, the snow melted. We had 74 degrees today. It, we, we had a pretty high temperature yesterday too. But we, with two days in a row in the 70s, all of that snow melted. It looks like a big pond. So with it getting warmer outside again, we're gonna be doing more outside stuff hopefully. And maybe I'll even start, you know, doing these videos in the morning again. <laughs> Who knows? It really is crazy. But again, it's stay hydrated, guys. Do this. And this is something to think about. Um, we all have crazy days where we, um, you know, you're just running constantly. You got so much on your mind that you don't even think about doing your stretches or doing exercises. And that's okay. I mean, you can have days where you just do stuff like that. I mean, we all need a break every now and then, but you know, in order not to count it as a field day, you know, do your stretching throughout the day, you know, try to at least work out your muscles so you're not stiff. Um, I honestly do not know what I did, but I must have laid funny or done something fun because my ankle is swollen, my knees hurt, and it's just been a crazy day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put make it easy not only tonight with just these basic stretches but I'm also going to be oh not pushing myself and we're gonna plan for tomorrow just doing a casual you know walk or just something that's not gonna be too strenuous so I hope you guys will join us tomorrow again if nothing else my adrenaline has been going today with all of the drama of birthdays, picking kids up from track practice, and you know, just basically being a mom in general. Anybody who is a stay-at-home parent, man, 
you know what I'm saying. It is constantly, you think you've got it all planned and they just throw you for a loop. And that's something that a lot of people don't tell you about is if you are a stay-at-home parent, your adrenaline will kick up at the strangest times and you just gotta go with it. So this is us going with our day. I am not gonna count this as a fail even though you know you guys aren't getting to see me do a lot of exercise. I have been up, I've been moving, I've been trying to do harder. So we're gonna try and be more active even tomorrow but not push it because again, if you guys start straining muscles, that's how accidents happen and that's how you end up getting the trip to the hospital. Let's avoid that, okay? So guys, this is day 51. We're past the middle part. Yay! And join us tomorrow, okay? We're going to do some more fun stuff tomorrow. And I'll probably do something entertainingly embarrassing. You never know. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Bye.